Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, hopefully have a good video for you guys. So I put up a poll on, uh, on my community tab on the uh, YouTube channel today. Um, basically asking you guys to uh, pick what color challenge I should do. I said, okay, I want to do a color challenge. And uh, so I did a poll. So uh, let's do a color challenge for a hand poured swim bait. Which color should I do? Uh, so I gave the option for fire tiger, rainbow trout, silver mullet, and yellow perch. I really want to do a perch at some point as well. And um, the winner is fire tiger. So um, the poll's been up for four hours. Um, 124 of y'all so far have voted. So thank you so much for your participation. And um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing fire tiger and fire tiger is a real doozy there's a lot going on um, I tried it once a couple of months ago just on my own I wasn't filming and it turned out fugly it was awful so here's kind of an example of a fire tiger swim bait this is from hippo tackle I've um, never heard of those guys but this looks incredible so good job y'all are killing it um, we're not gonna make ours exactly like that, but that's just a good idea to go off. We're gonna do a little more orange on the bottom. And um, you know, this this right here is probably largely a painted bait. Um, we don't really use paints or airbrushes, or at all, really, for the airbrush. And uh, so we're gonna figure out another way to do it, pouring the layers of the color and then adding some effect after the fact. Um, so hopefully it goes better than last time, because let me tell you, like it was ugly i threw out the plastic and just went inside with my head held low um so anyway this is fire tiger thank you guys so much for tuning in all right so here's what we're doing we're going to take our big seven inch um swim bait and i may make a few smaller ones with a little less detail if i have enough plastic left over um i should and um so here we kind of have um, are three cups because it's kind of a three color a three tier. I just held up four fingers. What an idiot <laughs> uh, Disregard that it's a three tier color. So you have like a top uh, Well, you have like a dark green a chartreuse yellow and then an orange uh, sometimes red so You know, we, we have some orange here. We have a couple of greens We have some chartreuse which I'm almost out. I've got some more of that on order. We have some yellow it's a dead-on yellow. I like it because uh, it's it's uh, transparent, and I don't want this color to be too thick. Because you know the thing about making a bait this thick, it doesn't take very thick colors for this thing to be thick. But you know because the bait is so thick, um, the colors turn out really rich. And so you you may think you're mixing up a light color, and then when you're trying to look through a bait that thick, you can't see through it at all. Um, so the lighter the better um, so that's kind of what we're going for and then I'll add a little bit of effect with some black and um, and we'll see <coughs> if we can do it right so um, yeah fingers crossed we have our dead-on plastic swim bait blend and we're gonna go ahead and cook them up and uh, pfft, here goes nothing guys so the cup <laughs> So the cup with the least amount of plastic is going to get our orange because we're not going to use very much orange. That's going to be like the least uh, amount of color per bait. It's just going to go on the bottom. All right. And uh, this particular shade of orange is not very thick. However, in a bait like this, it will be sort of thick you know you can see that's actually fairly see-through on the knife you know you start looking at it in the cup it's not a see-through but i like the color of that orange i actually have some different orange um, coming in the mail that i'm going to try out as well uh, so the top color we're going to do a, a bright green okay 
and we'll see what that looks like just kind of on its own. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. No, I don't think I'm going to change that at all. I like that. Okay, and then the middle color I have over here. I need to get more of these little cups. You know, sadly, as much as I do this, my cup game is pretty weak. I do not have a ton of cups. So we're going to add some chartreuse here. And then we're going to thicken it up with some yellow. And uh, that chartreuse is really, really, really see-through. So we're just going to uh, thicken it slightly with the uh, dead on yellow and the dead on yellow by itself is not a super thick color you'll see this is actually the thinnest color uh, out of these three right now but you know those are those are kind of your basic colors um, of this bait so um, I think I mean I, I, I guess that's a good starting point who knows Okay, so we're just going to pour a little thin bottom. It's a little tricky with a swatted bait like that because I don't need much. Um, so I kind of have to pour on either side. Try to get it even on either side. Okay, because I'm not going to pour that, you know, all the way to the top of the uh, hook slot because I just, I don't need that much orange. Okay, and here's our mid chartreuse color right here. Really going to get some of that in there. It's going to go up the bait quite a bit. All right. Maybe a little bit more. Stop it from going all the way into the tail. So I don't want it quite going into the tail, and it's really close. May have overdone it. Normally you just tilt it slightly and it will stop the flow from going where you want. Or, excuse me, where you don't want. Okay, and here is the green top. So that's going to comprise the tail portion and the top final layer of the bait. Okay. Yeah, nice clean pour there. That should uh, hopefully do it right. We will see. This color sucked the first time I tried it a little a uh, couple months ago. All right, let's take it out here. See what we get. Somewhere down there should be the orange layer. There it is. Okay. So, here's what we have. Nice three-tier bait. Looking good. All right, here comes the hard part. So, I need these little black stripes on it. So, I'm going to take an old German beer cap here, beer bottle cap, and we're going to take some black mica powder and... Mix it up with a little bit of black pigment to kind of form our paint, so to speak. Okay? So if you try to do just the pigment by itself, it really won't stick to your uh, bait surface very much. So we're just going to kind of stir this up. I'm going to do that away from the bait in case I uh, spill it or anything like that. So basically it looks like I just need some random kind of black marks kind of from the top down the side of the bait. Like some little upside down Y's and, and things like that. So that's just kind of what we're going to start with. Let me get a little more on here. That is what I was afraid of. Already goofed it up. And I don't know if I can get that off. I don't know where the heck that just came from. Yeah, that's that's not good right there, guys. We may uh, already have a botched a botched bait. All right, well, I did the best I could getting that 
off the bottom so we're just going to kind of go with that unfortunately that's how the cookie's going to crumble on this one So that is kind of what we're dealing with right there. Fire Tiger. And uh, I'm hitting this with the uh, heat gun just to try to lock that pigment in. That way it doesn't smear when I flip the bait over. So that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, and now I've got it on, uh, on the other side. So we're just, again, Kind of doing the same thing. Just drawing some random little squiggly patterns here. Tiger stripes as it is. Okay. This side will look probably a little better because I don't have as much boo-boo on the bottom from the uh, pigment that went wild earlier on me. Okay. All right, and then one more for good luck. All right, it's eyeball time. Just a little bit of uh, instant bond there. And this is a, a bright color. We're going with red eyes. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty killer. I mean, that's the eye of the tiger, right? Alright, and here is the other side. Okay. Okay, last but not least, let's get a little dip on this thing. All right. Looking good. That's looking fire and tiger to me. All right, well, surprise, I made two. First rule in bait making, why make one when you can make two twice the effort? So uh, here are our uh, baits. In fact, I'm gonna get them off this while I was using this paper towel to dry them. Let me get them off that. Yeah, so this right here is our first one. You can tell by the uh, black boo-boo on the bottom there and uh, looking really good. So what I decided to do, um, I still had some plastic left over, so I said, you wanna know what? I'm gonna do another one and not mess up the bottom. Um, so I did not mess up the bottom and uh, I actually I actually did the uh, the tiger stripes a little cleaner. The clear dip actually m made it run right there. Um, that happens sometimes. Um, but yeah. What do you guys think? That's fire tiger. Let's get them, get them together here. Yeah. Got some fire tigers up in the uh, fish cave today. Well, okay, guys. There it is right there. This is the big 7-inch hand poured fire tiger bait um, <clears throat> you could probably do this really good in the bloodline swim bait um, I'm not sure how I would incorporate the black um, not really sure but it's worth a try I would love to see uh, what somebody including myself could do uh, with the fire tiger idea in the bloodline swim bait um, but yeah that's it right there these two big seven inchers um, so Thank you to everybody who responded to the poll um, and suggested that I do this. I've, I've been wanting to get a little redemption on this color um, because when I tried it the first time, it was bleh. So, um, yeah. Um, these two baits right here, I'm going to put up for sale. 
Um, so if you want to purchase these exact two Fire Tiger swim baits, um, first person to send me an email to worldsworstfishing at gmail.com, uh, as long as you accept my price, they're yours. Um, so if you want, if you want these in your tackle box, please shoot me a, uh, an email real quick and, uh, and we'll see what we can do. Um, you know, I just, I figured, well, I kind of goofed up the first one, so I wanted to make a second one. And I was like, you know what? I already had these two made and uh, I get a lot of emails, um, you know, hey, can you make me some fire tiger? So uh, if anybody wants them, they are uh, yours for, uh, for the taking. But um, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're gonna finish up some orders. I have a bunch of stuff to do. Um, I have to make a hundred green pumpkin worms, which um, the color isn't hard, uh, but it'll be a little time consuming doing a hundred of them, but I'm looking forward to it um, because uh, I love doing like a large amount of one color because uh, you always you always get to grab that handful of worms and there's just no better feeling. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Hope you like the fire tiger. Shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and uh, we will catch you next time on the world's worst fishing.